Hi guys, this is Amr from Certified Power. Today I'll be showing you how to trim a Mako 2. For this procedure, we will need to have the Mako 2 control system connected to the PC with the Mako trim software up and running. Click the link in the description for a step-by-step -step video tutorial on how to do just that. Maintain a safe distance from the truck's mechanical components. Be mindful that plow implements may move suddenly. Make sure your truck engine is operating at 1200 to 1400 RPMs. We want to make sure we have enough hydraulic flow to run our functions. Once the Mako 2 is successfully connected to the PC, the computer is now in control of all plow functions. Do not move the joystick. The Mako 2 utility software will launch on the Joysticks tab. From this page, we can change the joystick options such as deactivating buttons or assigning these buttons to different modes. Under the Global tab, we can set the coil type or adjust the coil frequency. You can also set global trims. Then click on Set All Trims to apply the minimum and maximum voltage trims to all the channels. For this example, however, I will get into the process for setting individual trims. Typically, the A1 through A4 channels are reserved for plow functions. Each channel should be labeled right under the trim scroll bar. Every joystick function will have a minimum and a maximum trim setting. The minimum trim dictates at which voltage value the joystick movement will begin. The maximum trim sets the voltage value at the extent of the joystick's motion. To put this simply, the joystick's full motion will range from the minimum trim to the maximum trim. For the sake of the example, I want to adjust my hoist up function trims. The hoist is usually on channel A5 and A6. Click on the A5 through A8 tab. Here we can see that we have the hoist down and hoist up channels, each containing minimum and maximum trim scroll bars with their respective test buttons. First, we want to set our minimum trim. Click on and hold Test Min. This should actuate the hoist function. Adjust the minimum trim to speed up or slow down the minimum hoist up speed. Once again, this is the speed at which the hoist up occurs upon slightly moving the joystick in that direction. Click on and hold Test Min after every adjustment to confirm the desired motion speed. You can always click on Test Max for the hoist down function to quickly lower the dump body. Next, set the maximum trim, which dictates the motion speed upon fully extending the joystick in that direction. Click and hold Test Max after every adjustment to confirm the desired motion speed. Repeat this process for all functions that you want to trim. After you have done trimming your functions, click on Send Cal to download the new calibration file into your Mako 2. A notification message will pop up saying your upload was successful. Click OK. Our hoist up function is now successfully trimmed to go from 4 volts to 7.5 volts within the range of the joystick's motion. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to give us a call on the number provided on the screen or visit our website at www.certifiedpowersolutions.com.